to my channel. It's your girl, Ali Soko, and thank you so much for coming back to watch me. Today we have a very special and interesting video for you guys today. Not my normal put on makeup while I talk about things, but we're going to talk about dating in Korea. And I have some really interesting uh, guests with me today. They've been in Korea a while and they have been in the dating game for a good time. Some of them are <clears throat> out of the dating game. Um, <coughs> but I will let them introduce themselves. So without further ado, I'm going to start with uh, Rahim. Okay. Uh, my name is Rahim. I'm from Philly. I've been in South Korea for now two years. Uh, it feels like one year because of the pandemic. Uh, I'm a teacher here in Seoul. I teach grades one and two uh, in Seoul. Thank you. And now we're going to move on to uh, Ariana. Uh, hello, my name is Ariana and uh, I'm from Chicago. Um, I've been here in Korea for almost five months now. Um, and right now I am on uh, learning Korean language uh, while also searching for a job. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes in this pandemic. <laughs> Thank you. And next we're going to have Michael, Sir Mike, St. Mike. Sure, uh, my name is Michael, uh, also known as St. Mike or Mikey Ness on uh, social media. I'm from Brampton, Ontario, so uh, just a little bit up the road from Toronto. I've been in Korea for almost two years, uh, two years next month, and uh, I'm a teacher. I teach grade one to four in Ilsan, so a little bit west of Seoul. All right, and now we're gonna have Aja. My name is Aja. I am 28 years old and I've been in Korea for five years. And I teach as well, teach English in Yongin. And I'm on YouTube and Instagram. Now we're gonna have Jin. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my bad. I'm, I'm hungover. Uh, you, can, you, can, you can edit that out. Um, I've, I've been in I've been in Korea six years. Uh, all on Jeju. I live on Jeju Island, far from everybody. Uh, I'm last. I ain't never seen you before, but uh, it was nice to meet you. Um, and I'm la I'm a last minute. I'm a last minute shoe in. So nice to meet y'all. Yeah, that's what you two I ain't never seen before. Though. So. We were friends on Facebook. Which I'm up. What's up? We're friends on Facebook. Are we? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I thought you see. would be out here break dancing and stuff. Like, oh, I'm like, hey. Yeah. hey. Oh okay, god. I never seen. I never seen. I guess I never seen in real life. My bad. I'm tripping. Oh my god. <laughs> Good man. Like, you good dancing. The shade. Okay. <laughs> And last but obviously not least, Miss Queen, aka Henny. Yo, what's up? Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm 25. Um, I teach here in Jeju. Uh, let's see. I well, I have an Instagram with my boyfriend and also YouTube, but we both do like our own things. Uh, let's see. I don't even know. That's it. I like to be lit. <laughs> All right, as we can see, I'm, I'm loving the energy. All right, so we have three ladies and three gentlemen. So to keep it even, I won't be giving my opinion. I am just the host here today. So we're gonna start with the ladies and we're gonna ask like, what has been your general experience dating in Korea? We know there are so many videos out there and we wanna know if they are accurate or not so let's work backwards this time since we ended with henny last time let's start with henny again being in korea let's see um it's definitely different from in the states i mean i i live oh let me let me start back so i was a student in korea for two years at korea university and then i was a, um, teaching here for two years now so the dating scene versus like my uni years is definitely different. Like when I was in university, there were definitely people who were in 
interested, but it wasn't like, they weren't really ready for it, if you know what I mean. Like it was more of a, hey, what's your name? Let me get your cacao and delete you later. So I was like, all right. So after a certain a while, you start kind of learning about that different, you know, scene, I guess, in Korean, like, I guess, nightlife. Um, Cause I'm talking mostly about the nightlife right now. Uh, so, but while I was a student, you know, I made a good amount of friends, you know, but they were never really interested, especially what by friends, I mean like Korean friends in general. Um, and especially sometimes foreigners, you know, they're not looking to stay in Korea for a while. Um, so they are going to either go back to their home country or go to another country. So it wasn't really like a, like I still, I'm really good friends with them, but it wasn't like, I'm going to get in a relationship with you. Um, so, but around like the two year mark, I did get into a relationship and I'm in love y'all. I love him so much. And honestly, I, I thought, eh, I'm going to give up. Like, this is not, I'm not like, actually in the States, I wasn't really looking for a relationship. So in Korea, relationship or like just the scene of like coupleship is just everywhere. So you kind of get that, you're like, oh, I, can't, I think I need somebody right now, <laughs> you know, but it's not, you don't need no one, but like, you can definitely feel that. But I found someone and I, I love them a lot. So for Dom, your uh, majority of your dating experience is in Korea though, right? Yeah. So I think you yeah, heard you yeah, said yeah. Uh, you you weren't really interested in dating back home, no, so you got. <laughs> study, study, study. I have to get this done. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's very interesting. Thank you, girl. Oh, you're 100 with us. All right. So we're going to move on to Aerie. Um, even though I've been here for like a short time, my dating experience has been interesting. <laughs> rich. <laughs> interesting. What a rich, rich dating experience. Yes, yes. Um, so compared like back to America, I was dating here and there, like some was good, but like you you run into your occasional horny corn dogs and you know you you kind of like you know put it off and stuff. But here it's like it it's very fast. Well and how my friend put it she says ninja dating. Like they come in and you get on one day and the next thing you know, hey, we work in a girlfriend. How's it going? <laughs> and so, um, I, I mean, I like the dating culture here. It's very cute. It's very cute. And I kind of like, oh, I, I want to be in a relationship. I want to do, you know, you know, all that together and stuff. Um, but so far, like, it's definitely, it's definitely different, but you still see those same qualities back in America in the men here. <laughs> <For sure. laughs> Okay, yeah. thank you. <laughs> I love these answers, y'all. I'm really loving it. All right, Aja? My dating experience in Korea has been, I feel like the best way for me to sum it up is to say that I don't plan on doing it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it was that bad? Uh, I mean, and the, it wasn't that bad. It's not like I was like, oh gosh, every person I date is terrible. Dating is terrible. I just don't see the point of <laughs> entertaining um, a hey. short-term situationships or relationship as they want to call it. But like, if the first time you fight, you're going to break up. That's not really a relationship to me. So no, okay. I'm okay. That's I'm it. Right. All right. She brought that word back from the 2000s. <laughs> Aja, did you date in America, and, and how was it different? If, I if did. I did. Uh, it was different because I feel like in America, I mean, I'm going to just drag myself for a minute, but in America, I was the problem um, more often than not. Like, I would be the one who was like, all right, am I your girlfriend yet? <laughs> um or like I would be the one who I found a problem in this together ship and I'm ready to not be together anymore. Like that that was that was me, that was what I did. And then I came to Korea and other people did that to me and I was like, oh, hmm. I uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> so that was the girls. They gave it to you how it is. So let's, let's hear the guys. Now, let me tell you guys, it was really hard to get three men to come over here and talk about their dating experiences. I, I have some conjectures as to why, but I'm not going to assume. So with that being said, let's hear what the men think. Men, how is your experience dating in Korea versus dating back home? And how do your experiences mirror uh, the things that the girls have said? So they got like, is that one or two? I don't, I can't count. I already talked about this. Y'all got questions. <laughs> so uh, last time we ended with gin mustard. <laughs> Now let's start with Jen. Oh, you starting with me? <laughs> well, you ended the last <laughs> time. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, uh, so I got too many see. questions. Too early. All right, all right, all right. How's the dating in Korea? Uh, it's, like they say, it is different. But at the same time, it's not difficult. Like, I mean, for me, it's, I mean, I guess... To me, it's not difficult, especially on this island, because I'm the only black dude. There's not many black dudes on this island. So you're going to find people who are curious to just be like, hey, let's go on a date. And I'm not a person who's like heavily invested in any of it. I know what you want. Like, and I'm just going to be like, all right, whatever. Like, I'm not my feelings are not in any of this. You just want to meet a black dude. Cool. Um, you want to do this black dude? Cool. Like, I'm really it's really been easy because I'm uh, I come and uh, give you what you want basically, and I don't have no problem. Like I really don't. <laughs> That's just me. Dude, you us. He just came out swinging. He was hundred. like, "Yep, keep it a hundred. <laughs> what I like I it. That's what, what we want. want. <laughs> That's what we want. That honesty. All right, next up, he. Let's go. Oh. Let's keep it moving. Ah, uh, I don't know. I know we're living in a cancel culture, so I'm trying to like gather my words so I don't get canceled. Uh, <laughs> damn. Uh, but I guess just to like, uh, it's different for me because I only date black women. So I, I guess that's why I probably get canceled. Uh, I know I'm living in Korea, but I do not uh, date uh, other women. So uh, whenever I'm like a cheetah out here, whenever I see a black woman, you know, it's, it's, you know, they very slim. Uh, <laughs> and so, so yeah, it's I very different. Say, but, like, um, oof, must be hard. Yeah, yeah, know. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's hard out here for a brother. So, uh, so yeah, when I came, when I first came uh, in Korea, it was, it was great. You know, the, I was mostly down south in Busan, so. Uh, that's where there's a lot of melon, but uh, here in Seoul, you know, uh, I mean, you do see some black women, but uh, it's very different here. A little melanin deficient, mm -hmm. just a little speckle, you know. I didn't know that. <laughs> so it's different for me, but uh, it's been great to be honest. Uh, I have dated, you know, a few uh, a few sisters out here. Uh, most of them are South African, so that's also different because there's a cultural difference. Uh, they are very. <laughs> uh aggressive woman <laughs> and i'm from philly uh so i do know aggressive women but uh they they are very dominant uh, i will say so uh it's just it's it's different but uh yeah uh still out here on the dating scene we'll see what happens uh after the pandemic <laughs> <laughs> right oh. the pandemonium yes yeah. <laughs> oh you got a very interesting perspective we're gonna have to come back to that one <laughs> All right, uh, and Michael, let's hear what we got. Okay, for sure. Uh, well, I've been in Korea for about two years, two years next month. Um, I can kind of mirror some of the stuff that um, that Jin and Heem said. Um, Jin just came out with the, you know, Korean the girls. honesty. And not just Korean girls, I guess, but a lot of girls that you meet, especially if you do dating apps like I do, um, a lot of them are like, well, he's black, there's not a lot of black people, and they're kind of interested in that. And I guess you kind of have to wade through that and like, you know, see what's fetishization and see what's genuine interest. And so that's been a lot of my experience. And um, uh, what he said is a little bit different because he only dates uh, black women. So I guess that's a little bit difficult, especially where I live in Ilsan, there's not a lot of black people here, uh, especially black men. I, I count maybe three max that I would know of and meet myself included. Um, since I've been here, 
I've been in one relationship. Um, I was in one at the beginning of my second year. So it started around last February, uh, last March, and it ended in September-ish. I think it was around seven months. So that was with a Korean woman. Um, but outside of that, yeah, dating is tough, especially for me because I, I mostly do a lot of dating apps. So you're essentially selling, trying to sell yourself on the internet to you know people that might not understand you or understand your culture and stuff like that. So, but as far as <laughs> comparison, you sell yourself on the internet. Oh God. Yeah, you kind of have to. I mean, not <laughs> yes. body. Yeah, you gotta sell. You gotta sell your personality and whatever. Uh, but it is different from back home. Uh, I actually feel in ways it's easier mm. because kind of what Jin said. Like a lot of people are just interested off rip because you're black. But it's also a little bit harder because I think it's harder to find genuine connections with people. There's a whole like, you're still black in Korea. If you date Korean people, how far can that go? You know, like a lot of foreigners leave, um, most foreigners leave. And like, how are black, because I'm sure you guys all know that essentially Korean people like to rank people you know, based on a variety of things. So like, where does a black person rank when it comes to dating and marriage and, and that kind of stuff? So it's a lot to, to wade through and figure out and think about, but it's mostly been my experience. All right, so he just summed up everything, but with that, he said something really interesting that I will segue into the next part, the dating apps. <laughs> Lord. Serial dating app. Or- the dating apps so that's another thing i wanted to hit on (laughs) women's experience i have been on these dating apps i don't think i've had the experience i wasn't on them long um uh women's experience on the dating apps versus the men experience do you all feel that same sentiment let's go to the gallery view so we can see everyone's beautiful faces do you all feel that um sentiment of we are there's a lot of you are different so i want to date you i know he doesn't date koreans but even with the south african women dating here they probably well like you're like a cheetah they're probably like a cheetah <laughs> you if they're trying to date black as well as we just said there's not a it's not a lot of melanin in <laughs> here so do you guys feel that people see you and they're like oh this is an experience more times than not or do you feel like anything different based on what Michael said? Uh, I, I think I'll hop in because I'm also a serial app dater because <laughs> it's Corona, you can't go out. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, like, it's true, it's true. Uh, yeah, because like the energy, like, you know, when you text people, right? You get that like, oh, this person only, he's trying to get his thing wet from a black woman. Like, I, like, I know. What? I know, I know, no, no. And then like when you go and meet, it's like a whole, like they're not really giving you deep conversation, even though the ones who like know how to speak English, you know, like they, at least you can get, you know, some type of conversation, but you know, they try to lead in somewhere else like, oh, you wanna come to my house? Oh, we can watch Netflix. We can order some tteokbokki, you know, like <laughs> stuff like that. And I'm like- <laughs> <laughs> They don't want no tteokbokki. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I don't go to people's houses on the first meeting. That's not what we do it. And like, you know, they try to like, and then got the nerve to like, oh, let's get a drink at 12 at midnight, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, like, I totally feel like it's like, it's easy, you know, to get on the dating apps, but it's really hard to find someone genuine because they always have the mind to like, oh, I want to try a foreigner. I won't marry you, but I want to like, see what the experience is. And I'm just like, what the experience? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. We are not a monolith. Exactly. Ugh. The look at the end, that was a move. <laughs> right. Uh, anyone else want to jump in? Yeah, I see, that's his name. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, let's go Heem first since we just had a girl, uh, a, a lady. Yes. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, I do want to, you know, redeem myself because I don't want to get canceled. Uh, it's not that I don't. <laughs> it's not that I don't, you know. It's not that uh, I don't date Koreans. It's just that uh, 
my friends, you know, whenever I go out with my homies, I mean, they know uh, I don't date Koreans. But uh, one of my friends, he is involved with a Korean, and he even said like uh, she will never take me to meet her parents. And I'm just like, well, why? Why are you with this girl? You know, see, that's the thing. Uh, and you know, we're living in a different, you know, culture, different. A country and yeah if if i'm not good enough to see your parents then i'm just wasting my time and i don't want to be one of those people you know uh to waste my time you know you may like me but again if i'm not good enough to see your parents then then that's a that's a no for me so you know on the dating apps i swipe mostly left until i see a sister and then you know i still have to see you know where she's from you know it's uh it's, <laughs> it's a lot involved uh, but yeah, but for the most part, I'm swiping left on these apps. Uh, I am on the dating apps, but uh, for the most part, it's a lot of left, 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 and then so, maybe right. <laughs> just, just for curiosity's sake, how many, for every Korean person you see on a dating app, how many black women do you see? Uh, like, what's the ratio there? It's probably like, uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe, it, maybe, because I'm in Seoul, so and I think it's also because where my radius is, uh, it may be like maybe every 25, maybe. But then still some 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 sisters are here for the Korean experience. So, you know, and, and I can pretty much see that inside the bio. So it's a left for her also. So it's just, it's, so, it's okay, a lot now, of left. So, okay, now we got to go, how many eligible? <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah. It has to be precise. It has to be precise. It has to be precise. But I mean, I'm not mad. You know, if you're here for the Korean experience, you know, uh, more hats off to you, but you know, I'm just not gonna waste my time with that. So it's a left for her also, so. <laughs> nah, you gotta, you look, I heard that a lot of men just be swiping right on everything. So you the first, this is my first time hearing somebody being picky. I mean, if I was there, power to you. <laughs> for real, I didn't even know what, I didn't even know what left was. I was <laughs> right button the whole time. <laughs> just go right down. A lot of right over I don't even look at pictures. I just press the right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I was in the States, then I would definitely be swiping right. But like I say, yeah, it's, it's very different here. So, so yeah. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. <laughs> I have a story to tell. Okay, that's cool. Um, and I think this kind of, sums up a lot of what I get on the apps. Like I literally got off of all apps for a year because I was like full stuff. But basically this one time, and I wish I had receipts, but I, I broke my phone so I don't have the receipts anymore. I had screenshots. Girl, I was gonna put the screenshots right here in your, <laughs> your the video Bullshit. like, here we go. Um, so this one time, um, a Korean dude, he matched with me on Tinder. And I was like, I guess, let's see. He's talking to me where he talked first. I like that. Let's see what happens, right? And the first thing he said, I opened up the message and the first thing he said was, so I have black girl fetish. And I was like, I'm supposed to be, I, I'm supposed That's to be- That's your intro? <laughs> That's your shot? Like, he didn't say, hello, what's your real name? Like, like, I would like to take you out. No, no, no. I have black girl fetish. I was like, let me help you out. Don't tell people that. <laughs> um, <laughs> because I, I'm not going to date you. But if you want anyone to date you, you should not start like that. And he literally, he responded to me. He was like, listen, I know myself and my libido. And this is my mm -hmm. what i want i have a fetish i'm honest that man but said libido I will do, <laughs> yes that's what he, he used that word I was shook, his there. grammar was not it but his vocabulary was on he said he said that he would do he proceeded to name things that he would do for me and oh. i almost wavered um i can't <laughs> I can't name those things right now because this is going on YouTube, but <laughs> <laughs> he had a list and he was like, listen, I just want some chocolate. Here's what I would do for it. And I was like, we did. <laughs> really? No, no. Man who knows what he wants in life. I was like, I came to get. You gotta respect like, him okay. for the honesty a little bit, just a little. Like he was like, man who knows what he wants in life. 
I, so I, I've had a lot of those kind of weird um, interactions and not just from Korean guys. Like it'll be other black guys. It'll be other like non-Korean people, whoever. I don't know if I just have that kind of face that people think they can just say anything to me. I don't know. But I get I don't get approached in a way that I think is normal. And I'm just like, yo, like maybe you could even get what you want if you just talk to me right. <laughs> like I don't understand. I'm gonna stop you, um, because I don't like I don't like when girl, women say that. Because of uh, like if you ask ninety percent of any woman in Korea <laughs> who is not Korean, I guess, they will say Man, I got this weird message. I know I said I was gonna put my experience, but they'll say, I got this weird message. Is it something about me that just says, just like that? Nah, fam, they just weird. Well, see, and I, I do, I know everyone gets some of those messages. I just feel like the proportion of weird to normal is so overwhelming. I, I be shook. <laughs> Okay, the thing, okay, I'm, can I interject? For yeah, come seconds? on, Jen, let's put you right next to uh, it. <laughs> all right, for anybody to even think about dating us as black people, they got to be weird anyway. I mean, they're <laughs> just going to be, uh, that's just, that's just the, the blunt of it, and we need to come to terms with it. Just like, oh a my God. Person, like I'm going to date a black person. They're already on the outskirts anyway of society, so it's just... <laughs> That comes with the territory most of the time. It comes. I'm with not the with you. I'm not with you, friend. No, I have high self I'm gonna okay. be real. I, this is, I, I don't they're know. not weird. I'm, I mean, look at. No, me. no. I'm saying. I'm not saying we're weird. I'm saying they are going to be weird. Like you mean, like outside the norm. I think he's saying they're gonna be outside the norm, like outside of they're the norm of whatever culture they're coming from. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like you're like, saying, like specifically in Korea, as like Korean men or Korean women, like if they're right. yes, 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 yes. So like we, we, we go, we go PC it for okay. you. <laughs> what, that was that was PC as it comes. No, it wasn't, it wasn't <laughs> I see what you're saying. <laughs> That was, that I mean, was pretty I mean, PC. It, that was nothing bad about what I said. It's really you, you, these cats are going to be like they're going to say they're going to come to you. I, if somebody come up to you and be like, "Hey, where are you from?" And you're like, already you know this guy's weird. And it's just gonna go downhill from there. You know, and lying. that's usually how it is. Yeah. I wish he was lying. I wanted it, I want so bad for him to be wrong. But, but no, I'm not. I'm telling the truth. And this is somebody who's dated a lot of women. <laughs> it's like, you're weird. You're strange. I'm gonna go with it though. Let me jump you in on know, that. Uh -oh. I guess like, I don't know if I can go next or not, but... Wait a minute, I'm gonna just put both of y'all on the screen at the same time. We had Aja and Jen, we just kind of got, what is that, Queen and Michael? Yeah. How do I keep calling you Michael? Oh, you can, you can go first uh -huh. if you want to, Michael. Oh, okay, thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, no, nah, I was just gonna, I was gonna jump in on that too. I like, I see what he's trying to say. I wouldn't necessarily say that they're weird, but I feel like if you're a Korean person that is choosing to date a black person, you kind of know what is in store for you as far as like the reaction that you're going to get from society and from korean people like i can't walk down the street without somebody looking at me right so and i've had there's been times where i've been walking with a korean woman and people will be looking at us and she she'll notice it and she'll be like i didn't know that like it's weird that people are looking at us so much and like that's life that's my life anyway so it's like this is the kind of thing that you're gonna have to deal with if you're with me or any other black person that you know you're gonna date out here but what i found is um on dating apps and stuff like that there's a specific kind i, I like to see like a type of korean girl that at least i'll match with a lot and i don't, I don't know about jim and um, well he doesn't match with korean women but as far as me there's a lot of like the same type of girls like they like a certain kind of music they dress a certain way they go to certain clubs in seoul um, I can actually I can model. see that girl right now. <laughs> yeah. I can see I already know that. Who talking about. I already, I already, I already know who talking about. about. I can see. I know mean, exactly what you're talking about. Korean. And even body wise, they're built a certain way that is outside of the norm for what is viewed as beautiful or attractive. Curves. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm telling you, they might be they might be slightly thicker. I'm not gonna say thick like black women because they're not, but slightly thicker than you know the average Korean woman. They might dress a little bit differently, you know, slightly more um, 
I don't know how to black friendly is that is that PC? I don't know. They call it hip hop. Yeah, like streetwear. A little bit more. Uh, streetwear. Yeah, a little bit more up on that. Who's wearing it? Urban <laughs> gear. <laughs> <laughs> how many turns can we come up with? It? Uh, but they might they might be you know a little more up on that that culture and that style and stuff. And sometimes I'm like, yeah, this is cool because I'm getting something that's kind of tailor made to my personality. But at the same time, I'm like, this is also kind of bullshit. It's like, what is this? This is just like a caricature of, of like, like. Of course, that's exactly what it is. You're just like, you know, what am I doing here? I'm wasting my time. <laughs> Is, is that where the weird comes in, Jen? Is that where you're like? Yeah, that's oh, exactly what. Okay, you're not even you're not even like this, but you're just like you're playing this character, and then you're playing this character around me, and I'm just like, oh god, like, can I just talk about anime or can I talk about like something? I don't want to talk about hip hop because that's that's clearly not what we're here for. Like, this is terrible. <laughs> it, 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 I get what he's saying. I know exactly what he's talking about. It's a character, person, but yeah. I don't know. Um, my experience from like just apps so i don't know if um if you have another topic about like dating and whatnot with um like interracial relationships like what mike was saying like when i hold my boyfriend's hand he people stare at us like no matter where i go like they and they they seem uncomfortable i even had like an old woman say something to us about it but i'm okay i won't go into that but um app wise when i was on tinder I would get people who would, I, I'm more on the curvier side, so like, I'm not that. What you see? <laughs> girl. Um, but, um, and I would get some of the craziest message. I would get either like, okay, first of all, you matched me, right? Like you right. you swipe right, but you you came here to tell me specifically that I'm fat. Like you, That's yeah, stuff. like you messaged me just to make me feel terrible about myself, which I don't, I don't feel shit. I don't care. Oh, excuse my language. My bad. Um, <laughs> this is not a kid friendly channel. But, Speak your well, mind. Well. Okay. Well. So yeah, I, I just like, and then, you know, I'm going to go off. I'm not going to be like, oh, okay. No, I'm going to be like, okay. So you, you came here to tell me I'm fat, but you slide right on me. Like you obviously have some type of issue, but anyway. Um, so I would get that, but then I would get the flip side. I would get like, oh, I want to do things. And I'm like, oh, this makes me uncomfortable. So like, I kind of I kind of steered away from the apps because it just, it was either for me in particular, there was no happy medium. It was like, you're fat. I got something for you. Like it was just something, anyway. Something for you. Yeah, um, and then what I did notice on apps is that like the pictures, especially for the men, I don't know if the other women here can. Uh, oh, tell me about is it. it. Is, it, is, it like, oh, is, is that a like, common experience? Go. The pictures, guys. Like, let's go. The pictures are just like it's usually just like the chest, and then it won't oh, no, show no. the face. Oh, excuse me, I won't say it. He he won't show his face. He'll show his chest, or he'll show like. It's just something I don't even know. Like, I I like that you have cats in your and dogs in your pictures. Like, I I like that. But then like you'll have this kitty and your chest is like, mm, and you're flexing with them. And I'm just like, hmm, that don't make sense. But and then like when you do meet up with them, it's like 100% catfish. It's like, 100%. yo, this is not what you look like. Girl. How did you even Photoshop that? <laughs> like, I, I mean, that's the that's the things that go through my mind. Like, I can't actually have a conversation because I'm thinking the entire time, like, this is not you, right? Or did you? Is this illegal? <laughs> anyway, but um, I pinned for Jizz expressions. <laughs> but it's just much. most of the time when I would like when I because I'm 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 a nice person. At least I feel like I'm nice. So I have like I don't want to just like get up and leave. Like I'm not the person that's like. I'm gonna get up and leave. Oh. I'm just kidding. So <laughs> I'm gonna get up and leave. Like, I'll have a conversation <laughs> with you, but then even in a interpersonal like conversation, it's just like you're here because either I'm black or like you like the way I look, but like you can't even handle it. Like I don't even know why <laughs> you're you're sitting across from me and you're just trying to say, oh, I'm gonna do all this stuff, and I'm like, we're in a we're in a coffee shop, like. <laughs> Can you chill? <laughs> anyway, yeah. I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't discriminate. Like I, I will. Before I was in a relationship, I, I didn't discriminate whether you were Korean, black, 
I'm not really into white guys, but you know, I just like anyone, I was just like, yes. All right, I'm here for it. My conversations with a foreigner versus someone who was Korean were, was completely different. And I don't know if it's like, what was it? I'm not sure if Mike said it or he, but like, if you're not going to take me to go to your parents, like this is, this is a done deal for me. Yeah. Like, this is not, okay. All right. Like that was one of my things. Like when I talked to my boyfriend, I was like, are you like, is this, is this for real? Like, are we for real? Because I'm not here to play anymore. Like I've been here. I know this game. I've been there, done that. I even let it happen sometimes, but I'm like, this is it. And he was like, no. Nah. So I was like, all right. <laughs> so I keep hearing <clears throat> this come up. I, I, I got a re I saw a reaction to the term pictures. So I'm curious guys, what those pictures look like on the other side? Cause <laughs> I want to know what, like what, what they look like. Because on our side, it's, there are no pictures. <laughs> the pictures are, yes. <laughs> they are <laughs> random things. <laughs> yeah, and so, <laughs> I'm gonna, I mean, who, who I'm gonna go with the guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's Must go, go. let's Must hear it, Jen. Oh man, you want to talk about catfish then? I, I, <laughs> I had one two days ago. I had one two days ago that was like that. I'm like, this ain't you, man. Why y'all keep doing this to me? Like, I think I'm done because I have seen it. I've, I've been in that situation more times than I can count. Where I'm just like, this is you 10 years ago. No, no, not even 10 years. This ain't even you, fam. Like y'all, they can Photoshop so well here. Like the picture game is on point. Their picture game is amazing for you. Like, and I'm sitting there like, now I gotta waste X amount of hours now talking to you, knowing this ain't you, that we wasting my time. I wanna go home, but I'm not gonna be that dude. <laughs> I know. But well, I, I'm gonna start video calling or something because, <laughs> yeah, just don't waste your time with these pictures. Like, okay, or at least say, take the pictures minus two. Like, just take it down two notches and then if you actually get the picture of the person, then perfect, you, you won. And that's rare, but most of the time, take it down two notches. That castle me up here. That's that's me. I'm done. <laughs> Anybody who knows you or mine knows you don't care about being canceled. <laughs> yeah, no, I, yeah, okay, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. Hundred. <laughs> but yeah, the the abs thing is so on point. And I came across many of those ad pictures with the dudes flexing with their face blurred and stuff. And <laughs> just like, those are the ones you gotta stay away from. Those are the ones that just wants the punani and will try to like- <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> to get it. But yeah, I had plenty of catfishes. I don't know, it's the snow app. I don't know what's going on. I remember I met this one dude. It is a like, snow okay, app. It's the snow app. <laughs> It's the snow app. It's 100% the snow app. I don't know what that app is. Oh, it's a public app. It yeah, makes you get looking up. It makes everything beautiful. You change your entire physique, everything, just like your being. down, your down, being. To like gives you the K-pop face, the K-pop face. Yeah, the oh, snow app gives me really? bad self-esteem. <laughs> your entire <laughs> being can be changed. Exactly eyes knows yeah but i met this one guy right and we met up um uh, because he's teached at suwon and so I, I met him there and when i say like his pictures were it was like night and day and then when i met him i was <laughs> i was just like oh hello <laughs> like my whole demeanor changed i felt like i don't want to be there i didn't want to i'm just like and you know he tried like hugging i'm like oh no <laughs> like what do they expect the party gonna stop when they see it ain't you you know so he wasted that and time. then they act like nothing That's happened they like act like i look exactly like that yes this, this is, is me, me. This, is me. <laughs> this is me i feel like a lot of koreans probably have like this identity crisis that's going on like they think like yes this is me this picture is me i don't know what you mean like no it's not it is not you you look like the, it's just me if I lost ten pounds, shaved my face, got my eyebrows done. <laughs> Maybe Where? it's just what they want to look like, and so they're like, "This is what I'm going to. My finger is going to be completely like." Yeah, and like, then one thing they lie about their they lie about their height. See, I'm a tall woman. I'm about five nine, five ten. You cannot. I know what the height's supposed to be. 
And then on, you know, on their little profile, they're like, oh, I'm 180 something centimeters, da, 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 and I come there right here. <laughs> and I'm just like, and they're like, oh, I didn't expect you to be so tall. I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm curious, like, what did it? They might just think that once they're there at the date, that maybe they can win you over with personality or some other. Like, no, I, I actually feel like it might, it might be that. Cause and you, can. you can't. Mike, Mike is you right. Can. I don't win. But now, like, Mike might be right, not. but you lost three points with that one, though. Mike, Mike might be right, though. Like, your personality might win, but when you walk in and I see them like three points off the game, like, it's a, it might be a wrap already. You might have only had 90 points to begin with. Now you already had 90. <laughs> you know, I don't mind short guys. I don't care. But like, you don't know, I have people it. come. Yeah, like, don't lie about it. If you don't lie, say you six, you like you six ten, and you come in here and you're five foot six. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, what else you lied about? <laughs> oh, and then, no, she boy, did. How it's like. <laughs> And I know, and I'm taller than most men here, which is like a little surprise. <laughs> pretty much without like the heel but yeah oh. dudes will lie about everything on the profiles and then once you meet them in person it's like a whole nother story they will lie about being in a relationship and then when you confront Ooh, them Lord. Ooh, girl <laughs> men men Ooh, i need to girl. know men men is Ooh. that a thing do these women girl. be out here playing y'all like this because y'all want some thing? y'all have stores y'all have stores <laughs> <laughs> You know, want stories? I mean, I'm gonna let the other two guys. I want to take a picture of Mike. I mean, you got him, you got Mike. Let them tell their tales if they got tales. If not, I got tales. Uh, like, I think of... you have all the tales. Uh, yeah. Oh, he, he let's hear it. No, I say I think uh, Jen has all the tales. I mean, all the women that I've dated, they have been uh, single at the time that I at met. the time. Yeah, as, exactly. Say that very loosely. Uh, at the time, I think for the most part, with me, it's, it's like the distance. You know. Uh, I think that's the issue uh, here in Korea because even though, you know, uh, Korea is a small country, it takes, you know, so long to get to places, you know, so like when I date people, sometimes the distance is the issue, you know, even uh, one girl on Jeju Island, you know, I, I can only see her maybe every six months, you know, so, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I only <laughs> date you one time. I was uh, like, yeah. what? <laughs> like that trip. Cool like that. Okay, I'm just joking. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah for the most part i think it's the distance just uh getting to places especially like when i was in the states you can just drive you know here i uh, use mostly public transportation so uh that that becomes an issue when dating here but uh yeah sorry i don't have any stories so we'll leave it to mike and to to jen <laughs> to the dated people that was honest <laughs> y'all dating honest folks out no nah, jen ain't dating nobody honest. hey <laughs> yeah. no, i can't cuss on here uh, I've met husbands. I've met husbands. I've met husbands. I've met husbands. I have met, and I'm not even trying to be funny. I've met husbands. You need a YouTube channel yourself, my guy. You just need to keep it up. I'm talking about, I walk up and I'm like, oh no, you got a husband. I gotta play cool too. I gotta play it cool too. Like, I did not just sleep with your wife like two months ago, but it's cool. Um, how you doing? Like, you know, I've done that. And I can't even say, oh, that's a once in the off time. That's like, at least three, four times. That's boyfriends, right. I met. That's th boyfriends. I've many times, but husbands, three, four times. And women just cheat. Uh, Korean women cheat just as much as Korean dudes. Like it's a game out here, and you know it's the true. game. Yeah, you, know, you know the game when you like sitting there. And you're like, I already know what this type. Of, like I didn't know when I first came, so my feelings got hurt the first time. Number Aww. ten, it's just like whatever. They're <laughs> like you're cheating. <laughs> number number one hurt, but number ten is like I'm ready. To get I'm huh? treating like it doesn't count. Like, 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 it's not. You treat it like it doesn't count. That's not even no, a body. No, no, they don't even exist. Like, not, they, they disappear. They're like, I never I can't, you. I can't speak <laughs> it. I don't know. But like the only thing, the only thing I could think of is like, this isn't real. Like this doesn't count. This is just like something that I did. But it's not cheating because they're not real. Like <laughs> yeah. I would never marry them. I would never whatever. So okay, essentially, mm. I don't know. I, you know, I could, it could all be conjecture. I could be completely off base, but. That's one thing that I've been doing. As far as me, I've, I've only hooked up with one person that I found out had a boyfriend, like later on after. But outside of that, to my knowledge, to my knowledge. Been, um, been all been single. To my oh knowledge. my gosh, this video is, is <laughs> more than I thought it was. I am truly enlightened. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I had a situation. You may be wild, and I see. 
<laughs> they do. <laughs> These boys, oh man, the grown oh, men. Oh, they're ridiculous. <laughs> they're ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous, man. But whatever. I, like I said, I already know the game now, and I, I play it. I don't. I don't get mad at it. Just join You're it. A veteran. Yeah, <laughs> a veteran. <laughs> a veteran. <laughs> the thing. The thing is with like. Okay, so I had. I I went out on a date with somebody, right? Um, off the bat, like his personality was, I can see through. I was like, I know, I know what you want. I'm not playing it, but I'm going to entertain it a little bit. So, <laughs> um, we got coffee. So you know how somebody have their phone turned over purposefully, like and watch their phone every time they look. They, I was like, I know, I know what this is. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly like that. And so I asked him. I was like. For his, the first warning was like, he said he don't want to date Korean women. He hates Korean women. They're boring. He wants some excitement, foreigner, da da da. I was like, of course you do, of course you do. And, uh, <laughs> and um, oh, so, you know, he not really talking, you know, just got that aggressive, that, you know, boss type attitude and stuff. I was like, okay, I want to go home. <laughs> and then he left his phone on turn and I saw a message now, I know a little Korean, okay? I know that on a kako, okay. <laughs> I, on a kako, I know, you know, you get like a little pre preview of the message. And before this, I asked him like, Do you, are you in a relationship? And his dad asked, was like, no, no, I'm not single. No, no, no. And then on, on his message day, it was like wife with heart, 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 heart emoji. And so I saw it, you know, the big ass iPhone, I saw it. He saw me saw it. <laughs> no, Korean men are not. Oops. Never mind. Yeah, he's slipping, man. They're, not just, they're really not. They cheat a lot, but they're not good at it, okay? They ain't good. They ain't with you, bro. They, they get caught all the time. That's the problem. Don't take your phone now. with you. Don't. Why are you slipping, bro? It's in your pocket. Why is the phone even on the table? Yeah. <laughs> like, why are like, you slipping like that, bro? Why are you slipping? He wanted you to see that, girl. He was like, Mm, she gonna look at this, and we we all gonna get together. Hey, right. hey no, he might have thought that you can't speak Korean. So that's not then He might have been like, oh, that too. too. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But he's still yeah. slipping. He's he was, hard. and so <laughs> so he looked at me, and he, like he saw the I saw, and you know, like that. Damn, I, I fucked up. <laughs> look, and I was just like, take me. <laughs> oh man, I, I, had, so, I don't want to just no leave to take me home now. Thank you. That's what we went to in this conversation. Yeah, take me home. I'm not playing. Don't play with me like that. Like, if you're gonna lie, do it smart. All right, do, do be smart. Don't you have your girlfriend. Got to lie, Chris. <laughs> you ain't got to lie. Like, be smart. Don't be like like I came across dudes where they like, you know, we dated and stuff, and I next thing you know, next day on their social media they're posting their Korean girlfriend, you know, all of this and stuff, and I'm like, but didn't we just? Okay. And then when you confront them, they're like, I, "What girlfriend? I have no girlfriend. What girlfriend? Who? Who? What? You, what? I don't. I don't. Da, 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 da. Like, like they block. That's why you gotta know. That, yeah, that's you gotta know that because like sometimes, and I, this is not my story, but like it's a friend's story. Sometimes, even though they're in a relationship, the girlfriend or the boyfriend or the husband or wife be knowing, and they be wanting to join. So like, oh, Lord. I won't say all the time. <sighs> But sometimes, I know, I said this was for kids, <laughs> you wow. might be getting some of the like, that we're hey, to girl, <laughs> do you mind? Do you the people y'all talking about? <laughs> no, no, I, yeah, I, 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 I won't tell her story, but I was definitely like, <gasps> I had a few friends who had that story too, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's never happened to me. <laughs> but. Thank God, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I just delete. I just throw my phone away. It's trash. <laughs> Honey, we brought a third wheel. It's just chocolate. It'll be <laughs> reverse Oh my god. Yeah. Um, I think that is a great place to stop. <laughs> Let's not. We we just before this goes somewhere weird. I mean, it's already been kind of weird. Yeah. I I need to thank I need to thank y'all because y'all have truly been entertaining to me. Yeah. I'm sure you're going to be entertaining to the folks. Thank you all so much, men <laughs> and ladies, for your experiences. 
I hope that anybody who watches this video learns the game. Men, if y'all out here doing a thing, listen, they just told you, stop slipping. <laughs> Don't leave your phone on the table. Don't leave your phone on the table. Like common sense. Come on, man. Come on now. Right. Just Plan. Do don't introduce don't do your fetishes from the go. At least try no. to pretend like you're decent. Right. Ways, okay? Takeaways. Come on Somebody now. Get out. Who keeps their phone just just up on the table like that while they're on a date and they're doing dirt? That's crazy. Want to get caught? Because he, 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 he wanted to get caught. He wanted to get caught. He wanted to get caught. You want to get caught? He wanted that extra. You know? I told you. Maybe he, he literally wanted to get caught. Maybe he was like checking like. You're into so that's that? a fetish for some people. <laughs> they be like, mm, I like it. Who we'll each their own, I guess. Oh, yeah. oh, and be weary of people that say they love you if they never met you and they met you after the first time. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that happens to women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. That's yeah. Really I don't well, know. Girl. That don't happen to you. I feel like Korean will be real fast about it. You're like, I love, I love you. <laughs> Because really they don't say it first. Oh, yeah, they do. Hmm. I, I had someone try to marry them say it when they want to hear it. <laughs> uh, I'm, I mean, I'm going to get married once here. Uh, I'll cut that game short. But what? I mean, oh, it, it, damn. It, Whoa. Jen, I need you to get a. Cut I need that you shit. Get, I'm sorry. Cut, Wait, I cut it short. I need you out. to get a YouTube channel. I will watch it. <laughs> me too. I, you would have a subscriber in me. I've like, anybody before. who watches this video will probably go right over to your channel. Like, let's see a gym story time. I am like lazy. That's the. Huh? <laughs> you said what? You said it like it happened accidentally. Like, <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean you can just put close. a camera. You can just put a camera up. And just record, no editing. Don't just upload the rough bit. I will watch. Don't edit. Straight. Straight. I don't know. I'm too lazy to do this stuff, but you know, I'm I'm happy to be here and help today. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Thank you all for coming today. It was been so nice. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please comment down below. If you want to hear more stories from Jen, I will try to get him to record the video. <laughs> Anywho, thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye!